What's up, YouTube? It's Nathan, and I'm coming at you today with what could potentially be the fastest character in Path of Exile. Not in the history of Path of Exile, but the current 3.3 patch, the Incursion League patch. This is what I believe to be the fastest character. Now, I'm still using the reverse chill setup that I showed you in my previous video. I'm going to really quickly, for anybody new tuning in, go over what makes the reverse chill happen and why it's beneficial. The Winter Weave Ring lets you reverse the effect of chill, which is, at maximum, a 30% speed increase, similar to how Tailwind is generic speed. Okay, This allows you to scale movement speed past just stacking movement speed. Okay, Hopefully that makes sense. Now, we need to kind of jump through a few loops here with a few other unique combinations to allow ourselves to take enough cold damage to actually apply chill. And here's how we do it. The Oxium Belt. Chill effect and freeze duration on you are based on 65% of energy shield. With this belt, our goal is to have the smallest amount of energy shield possible to always apply a full 30% chill on ourselves. So how do we lower the ES? First of all, taking Acrobatics reduces it by 30%. And putting on the Duresso Salute reduces it by 50%. This brings me down to 76 ES total, which is low enough to always apply the cold damage from the Red Blade Banner combination and the Heartbound Loop. When I swap to my Scepter here that spawns three level 20 Spectral Spirits, uh, and swap back to my main setup, I take physical damage from the Heartbound Loop. I take 350, uh, 350 physical damage, and 7% of that is turned into cold. So the small amount of cold damage I take when weapon swapping is actually enough to completely chill myself at 30%. You can see here the movement speed increase is actually quite significant if done properly. There's a lot of ways to mess that up. I'm not great at math. It took a lot of trial and error to get this perfect. So that's how the reverse chill setup works. Let's talk about what I changed in the past video to get almost 200% more movement speed. The biggest thing is that I had to jump through hoops to get Transcendent Spirit Jewels on Standard League. I knew it was going to be hard, but it was a big pain in the rump. Trust me about that. These increase your movement speed by 2% per 10 dexterity allocated in the radius of the jewel. For example, this Transcendent Spirit is giving me 23% movement speed total, as confirmed by... Ooh, ooh, didn't want to show you that yet. I'll get to that in a second. This right here, this is the current setup that I'm showing you in-game. I'll demonstrate it in the Blood Aqueduct in just a second. But you can see here, if you look at the top, removing this from Item Socket 7 will give you minus 23% movement speed modifier. Now this is 23, uh, you know, this one's 16 got another 23 here and finally this one up here is a little weak boy at 13 percent those jewels pretty much on their own allowed me to scale movement speed to an incredible amount uh adding on to that i've also dropped veteran bower for an additional five percent flask effect and i've uh, adjusted the skill tree slightly uh, by taking points out of the mine nodes and allocating them into nibbleness and influence so as it stands right now, this character is not viable at all for Uberlab. However, I have completed Uberlab on this character. I'm not going to teach you how to get the damage. That's on you. I'm already teaching you this much. Okay? Um, so, yeah, let's do this before I show you the Blood Aqueducts. So here's my config. It's really simple. Disregard this effective DPS part. I had this set up for some other testing. Um, so the... Am I chilled? We'll turn that off for a second. See this right here? 605. 605% movement speed modifier. Let's go in game and I'll show you really quick that these numbers do in fact match up. There's no funny business. This is the 605. So we'll let Path of Building work its magic and bang! 817% movement speed, boys. Um, so there's that. The only other two things that I changed from the last video are the Allure Claw. Since I'm not killing anything, this is in fact the best thing I can ever equip in the main hand. It gives me 5% more movement speed than the Griffin would. 
uh, as well as I changed the shield. I used to run the Saffles frame. Now I run the Red Blade Banner because this has zero energy shield on it. My goal on this specific character is to maintain consistency. I want to be always chilled at 30% uh, every time I weapon swap. So those are my changes. Uh, I'll show you what the character looks like uh, in a Blood Aqueduct run. The goal for me right now is to run from this waypoint all the way through here and I will touch the exit as quickly as I can. Okay, My best is like you know 13 seconds. You see here it says 17.7 .7, and here's why. Uh, I'm going to start the timer and when it gets to 5 seconds I will begin running. It's because I have to hit quite a few buttons at the start and it's just too much of a fumble to try to hit the timer at the same time. So I'll start it and I'm going to be quiet for this because it does actually take quite a bit of focus. I'm not, up to I'm not sure I even hit phase run at the start there. Smoke mine's running out, but it doesn't quite matter. All right, that's that's a pretty good run. Um, 17.7, that's about a 13 second blood aqueduct, which is pretty swift, as fast as I've ever done it. For a quick reference, uh, the 630% character I ran the same test on, granted it could have possibly been a worse layout, but it was running at between 17 and 18 seconds. Just throwing it out there. This is, again, an 817% movement speed character at level 97. Now, I wanted to take this a step further and just out of plain old curiosity, see how fast I can make this setup go. And here's what I've got. This is my theoretical maximum movement speed. I'm not saying that this setup would be particularly useful for anything, like Uber Lab. Uh, the resistances are completely shit. Okay, completely shit, but here's the deal. 876% movement speed, I can't get any more, man. I, I don't know how. There Maybe somebody's got a way to make it better, uh, but I'm stuck at 876. I've put a lot of effort into it. So what is different on this than my current in-game character? First of all, it's a level 100 skill tree. I'm only level 97. Furthermore, I've went as far to... Uh, 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 deallocate the, the flask efficiency notes that I would normally take in any other circumstance and just pretty much buff the character movement speed, okay? Uh, I might not even do this in game because without flask effect or, or flask modifiers, pathfinders are eh, not as great. Anyways, the strategy is to play around the transcendent spirits, stacking as much decks in the, uh, in the radius as possible. So 876%. I changed a few items as well, uh, such as the amulet. Instead of running a Duresos, I run a warped timepiece with a 10% increased uh, corrupted implicit, uh, as well as the oxium belt, which is a 12% increased movement speed implicit on the corruption. Neither of these really exist right now. I'd have to try to corrupt my own, and to be quite honest, I don't have the currency, time, or motivation to do it. So that's, uh, that's that. I'll post uh, all the relevant information, including the pay spins in the description below. Uh, and I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I've been working on, where I got the reverse chill setup going. It was a huge increase from the last uh, video I made. 630% was what I thought it was capped at. Uh, uh, maybe I was mentally blocked at the time. I, I couldn't think of a way to make it better, but here we go. The Transcendent Spirits. Transcend time and space and make your character a speedy Gonzalez. So uh, I don't really have a whole lot more to share. This is probably the fastest I'll ever go uh, until they release or nerf more shit. Uh, so that's it. That's all I got for you guys. If you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever you want to say, throw it in the comments. I'll respond as best I can. So just a uh, quick video, let you guys know what's up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.